Hi there, this is Anup here and today we are going to learn about Intune enrollment for Windows 11 or later versions in the personal mode. So if you want to enroll your personal device, Windows personal device into in Intune management of your organization to just access email or some other resources or quickly you want to do some work done, then this is the video for you. And if you are an IT admin, Intune admin, before enrolling or before enabling the enrollment, Intune enrollment for BYO or personal device, you need to make sure that you have passed the clear message to end users that, okay, these are the implications, pin requirement might change, etc., etc., to avoid any surprises for end user after enrolling the device into Intune. So just have a quick look at the presentation and the demo, how you can enroll your Windows 11 or later device into Intune management. This is only for personal devices in a BYO scenario. If your organization supports that scenario, let's go and have a quick check. So let's quickly look into Windows 11 Intune enrollment options for personal devices. This is manual enrollment. We are talking about Windows 11 or later devices and BYO scenario we are talking about. So if your organization is enabled BYO scenario and you want to enroll your personal devices into Intune management of your organization, what are the implications of it? We will talk about in this video. These are the main talking points of Windows 11 Intune enrollment. We are all about Azure AD registration in this. It is not Azure AD join. Azure AD join process we explained in the last video. I will embed that video over here. You would be able to see that. Then we will talk about Intune company portal type of enrollment. This is one type of enrollment for personal device and what are the permissions you need from your device or from your organization perspective for this enrollment. Then we will talk about Intune enrollment options from the settings page and we will look into the demo. Next move to the next slide. We have talked about Azure AD join, Azure AD hybrid Azure AD join scenarios in the previous videos so I'm not going to explain everything over here in this slide but you can refer to the video previous videos over here as your AD registration that is the only one we need to concentrate on this particular video because we are talking about Windows PC MDM or Intune enrollment in a personal context or BYO context so these devices will be registered once it is ended enrolled for Intune management of your organization and you would be able to use your personal Microsoft ID or local ID local username to log into Windows 11 devices even after the Intune enrollment unlike Azure AD join scenario let's move to the next slide and in this slide we are going to talk about some of the requirements and the details which you need to understand before you make a decision to enable the personal device Intune enrollment or if you are an end user you need to understand what are the implications you might have when you enroll a device your personal device into Intune management we'll talk about licensing requirements also in the next slide it is almost covered because Probably you are already using an Intune managed device that might be your corporate device or your mobile device Those are already Intune managed. So the licensing part is almost covered in that scenario Yeah, this is important for end users You need to understand there would be some policies coming down from Intune man Intune to your personal devices Maybe you need to change the password you might need to perform some additional changes in some scenarios like encryption etc it depends on your organization mainly maybe some organization uses light management of Intune for the personal devices in that scenario maybe you might need to change only the passcode or pin complex 
complexity of your windows pc there could be a lot of implications if the organization install some monitoring solution into your personal device and there are strict regulatory rules against that in many regions around the world especially europe and all so if you are making a decision to allow users to enroll their personal device then you need to make sure that you consult your data privacy team etc and you need to ensure that there is no enrollment restriction policies are in place most of the organization use enrollment restriction policies based on device platforms there is a policy that can restrict people from enrolling personal devices into corporate management or in tune so if that policy is in place you might not be able to perform these tasks from your personal pc there would be some limitations from intune management side also you cannot manage a personal device which is azure ad registered similar to azure ad joined or fully managed corporate owned device there would be some restrictions limitations in applying the policy deployments of applications etc etc and these are some of the remote actions remote tasks a help desk admin or intune admin from your organization can do to your windows 11 or windows pc personal one so you need to be very mindful about all these things before you enroll a personal device to intune i don't want to scare you but you need to understand okay these are the things you might get into but i have not seen people wiping the organizations are wiping their employees personal devices etc etc normally they don't allow personal enrollment if they allow personal pc enrollment then there would be very light management etc okay let's move to the next slide and understand what are the options to get enrolled company portal is one of the option to enroll the devices into intune management you can install the company portal from microsoft store and then you need to log in with your corporate email id and password etc once the login is completed it will ask you to go through a wizard it is straightforward process once that is done your pc will automatically get enrolled to intune Now let's quickly look into the requirements licensing requirements and uh, windows edition requirements home pro education and enterprise editions are supported for personal device enrollment scenarios with intune unlike azure ad join scenario if you want to know more details about that click on this icon over here information icon over here that will give you more details intune license requirements are very clear those are mentioned over here some of the examples for ad- additional functionalities like conditional access azure ad conditional access your users might need some additional licenses azure ad p1 etc etc okay let's move to the next slide these are the two options to enroll windows pc personal one to intune using settings app this is the one which i prefer and there's another option also enroll only in device management this means will be available in intune device management solution intune portal over here if you do you would be able to see the record in intune and azure ad as a registered device azure ad registration is anyways not going to have anything on your personal device but intune management is a critical as we discussed over here and there could be some implications such as this and policies etc etc now let's move into the demo and check the things out came okay, let's get into the demo now and see how to enroll windows 11 device in a byo scenario bring your own device scenario if you want to enroll your windows personal device your personal laptop to intune then this is the method go to settings in windows 11 and go to accounts and within accounts if you scroll down you would be able to see something called access work or school in access work or school you can see a option called access work or school connect button it click on that connect button until this this is same as azure ad join as we have seen in the last 
video if you have not seen that i will link that video to this one so that you can watch it corner click on connect and then it will prompt you for username and password so this is the link for joining the device to azure active directory over here join device to azure active directory we have seen that and this is the link for mdm enrollment mdm mdm enrollment okay so enter your corporate email id over here and then we can proceed with the enrollment so as you can see over here i have logged into this particular windows 11 device with a local account this is the local account i used to log into this device and there would be a need for microsoft account also i have added my microsoft account also i might have seen now now it's time to enter your corporate credentials okay enter your credential enter your email id click on next and that will take you to the login page where you need to enter the password click on sign in now now it is getting registered device is getting registered over here with this process that is what happening over here hold on while we register the device with company and apply policy sometimes it may take more time the registration process to mdm in this case intune is going on the intune enrollment so this is not azure ad join scenario you need to use your local account or microsoft personal account to log into this device but now on this device will be managed from intune and you will get all the policies etc from intune for the byo scenario so this is done now click on done and you can see this is connected to intune now if you go to info over here over here this button you would be able to see all the details like which are the policies getting applied etc etc all those details you would be able to see over here so that means enrollment to intune is completed now you can see if you want to sync the application you can sync it if you want to collect the logs from the device you can collect the logs from here etc etc create report button let's launch company portal application from this device and see what is happening over there so the applications the company portal applications you can see there's no application at the moment because we have not deployed any applications to byo devices apart from office now let's check console part of it i am in intune portal as you can see over here intune portal okay in the intune portal you would be able to see this device is there now and the ownership is personal all these details are there so that's good from enrollment perspective and if i go to azure active directory portal as you can see now this is azure ad portal and in azure ad portal you would be able to see this device name and windows os version and you can see the device is registered azure ad registered it is not azure ad joined as we have seen in the last video about azure ad join scenario i will link that video over here you would be able to see that if you click on that information button and it is managed by microsoft intune the enrollment process is completed and some of the policies are already flowing down to the device so you have seen all the details in the presentation and video about licensing about intune enrollment what are the different options what are the implications whether you are intune admin can wipe your device without your permission or not when you enroll your personal device for intune management all those details are covered in this video just wanted quickly have a recap there are three options to enroll your device into intune management first is go to microsoft store and install company portal application and go through the enrollment process the second and third options are from settings apps in windows accounts page in the settings app and then go to 
work or school access section over there open that and from there you will have two options i would recommend to go through the big connect button option explained in the video hopefully this video was helpful to you let me know in the comments what you think thank you all for watching see you around